Hi, my name is Jane Munnaden, and the title of this case report is The Dynamic Management of Oscillopsia, a case report emphasizing patient-centered care in outpatient settings. This case report overviews visual symptoms of a patient in outpatient care. Blurry vision is a common complaint that both primary care doctors, emergency medicine doctors, ENT doctors, and ophthalmologists all see. This case report highlights the importance of precise examination and questioning and focuses on oscillopsia. Oscillopsia is defined as unnatural vision motion perception, and it is actually very rare. There's about 81 cases per 100,000 adults in the United States. Oscillopsia is a diagnostic challenge. It's often missed because it's unconventional and it is an unconventional presentation in primary care settings. The problem with this is that there is a potential to worsen outcomes if misdiagnosed. And that is why it is extremely important to timely diagnose this condition. It also enables us as physicians to enhance patient well-being. This patient that I saw in an outpatient setting in Pennsylvania was an 89-year-old female with ongoing visual impairment. Her symptoms reported continuous oscilla oscillation of surroundings even while still and associated dizziness and difficulty focusing on objects. This was causing her a lot of distress in her daily life activities. After her initial evaluation, the physicians decided that a physical therapy referral would be um, best for her given her findings. And during physical therapy, it was found that she had decreased uh, endurance, dizziness, and impaired motor control, postural control limitations, uh, and impact on daily living, and significant limitations in activities of daily living, all due to her oscillopsia. Her treatment and goals focused on physical therapy uh, by intervening on focusing on improving dynamic balance, goals set for ambulation and standing balance, and then supportive equipment approved um, for a single point cane. Um, she was also uh, introduced to balance wear, a lumbar sacral orthotic. In terms of progress and outcomes, therapy duration was several months of continued therapy uh, and physical therapists noted symptom improvement, significant enhancement in ability to perform ADLs, uh, improve comfort in daily activities. Again, this case report emphasized the importance of regular follow-ups, monitoring patient progress, managing symptoms dynamically, uh, and really focusing on the patient's uh, reported episodes. The key takeaways from this case report is that primary care physicians will end up seeing oscillopsia uh, and early recognition and management of oscillopsia is crucial. Patient-centered approaches enhance outcomes and this is the importance of ongoing assessment in primary care settings and the integral part primary care physicians play in patient care. Thank you.